we finally got a date. We're here to announce it. How do you feel? Four belts, yourself, Alexander Yusik. What more can you say? Happy days. You're going to hear a date a lot today, 1999, Lennox Lewis. That's the last time we had an undisputed heavyweight champion. How historical is this moment that you're going to be fighting for? Um, not really historical. It's just another fight, isn't it? You know, you've got a load of belts on the line, but just two men having a fight on Saturday night and entertaining and getting paid and getting laid and getting out of there. And that's nothing more to it. What motivates you now, Tyson? You've done it all. You had a huge event a few weeks ago, but you're back yeah. again now announcing another one. What, what gets you up? What motivates you for these? Got nothing else to do. What do you make of him? What do you make of him over there looking at him now? I don't really. Listen, he's a boxing man. Good fighter. Great. Nothing more to be said. I'm going to do what i got to do. When we see you two on the stage uh, a little bit later on, a lot of people, a lot of the casual fans are going to look at the size of you, the size of him. And... I don't think he's that small looking at him. He's um, probably about, what, I don't know what he is with heels on, but he's probably about six foot three inches tall, which is not small, is it? It's not a small man by any of imagination, but yeah, smaller than me. How do you prepare for a fight like that when the man is a bit smaller than, well, considerably smaller well, than you in this case? the average size for a heavyweight, six foot three. Um, that's about normal, yeah. So I've fought many people his size before, lots of them. How's life been since the Ngannou fight, Tyson? I've just been at home doing what I do. Um, feeding the dogs, going for a walk, taking the kids to school, getting to bed early, waking up early. Same old shit, really. From any fight. After this fight, it'll be the same, God willing. Um, I'm happy to be doing that. I'm happy to be alive. I'm happy to be well. I'm happy to be out of trouble. I'm happy to be a husband and a father. I'm happy that I've got all these big fights and I've had them all and whatever else. I'm happy to be world champion. I'm happy, just a happy person, I suppose. Is that what keeps you happy? You said that's what gets you going. You, you seem happy today. You're in good spirit. I, um, I like doing what I'm doing or else I won't be doing it. Um, I get paid well for what I'm doing or else I won't be doing it. Um, I'm here. I'm enjoying it. I can't say any more than that. And, you know, in a few years, it'll all be over. And I'll look back and I'll think, you know what? That was unbelievable when I was there for the undisputed press conference or the Wilder press conference or whatever. <coughs> so, you know, you've got to enjoy it while it's here because... It's not here forever and um, I'm not getting any younger, so I'm just enjoying every minute while I come. You said in a few years it will be over. That means you're going to keep going for a few years. What do you, what do you see well, next? It could after? be five minutes, it could be what? But, you know, I'm, you're not, this isn't forever. This is a short-term thing in a lifespan. Tyson, it was a, a hell of an event a few weeks ago. Rock stars, celebrities. the Kanye West. Eminem. Lennox Lewis. We could keep going back and forth about yeah, the, the main... I'll be here all night. <laughs> it was unbelievable and I was very happy to be a part of it. And big shout out to the Saudis and Turkey Al Sheikh um, for putting a fantastic event on. And here we are going again for another fantastic event, which is unbelievable. It was a hell of an event. Not many of us expected to see you pull yourself off the floor for that. How did you, you expect me to do? Stay down? I mean, we didn't expect me to Remember see you. life. No matter what life chucks at you always got to keep coming forward and getting up and moving forward and that's what you got to do no matter what it chucks at you what shit comes at you you got to pick yourself up and keep moving forward never stay down never say die never quit always believe how do you reflect on the fight now if you now a few weeks have gone i don't reflect it's in the past and that's it i'm happy happy i got paid got laid i want to the next one the next one how do you see it going how do you see this fight going with alexander usik gonna do the best i can and i'm sure he's gonna do the best he can what have you made of his a heavyweight career so far who's sick of his there's only me who stands in the in the way of him and total domination of Europe um, he's beat all the British guys Chisora Joshua Dubois and there's only me and to come to my shores and I'm the dauntless in these waters let's just say that if, if he if he can beat me which I know he can't then it, there'll be nothing standing in his way of total domination why can't he beat you because I'm the gypsy king that's enough what did you make of his fight against Dubois? I thought it was pretty good. I thought they both did really well. They both had good, um, good spells in the fight. Um, Dubois, Dubois done pretty good, and Alexander done pretty good also. So, and the better man won on the night, and that's usually what happens in fights. The better man will win. Um, and that's it. What did you make of his fights against Anthony Joshua as well, the two that he had there? Again, same kind of thing, you know, the better man won on the night, and that's it. You can't cry over spilled milk. And, that's it. That's why he's here and it's not AJ's face up there or Dubois' face. It's actually uh, his face. So, yeah, he deserves to be here. He's won his right to be here. And I don't know how long it's been. Some people keep telling me different times. 20-odd years since the last big event like this. So, yeah, pretty good to be here. What does that mean? It is 20-odd years. 1999. I know you, you fight now. 1999, the year of the cyber athlete. 
What does that What does that mean to you, though, to create that history, Tyson? It, it, it is a big deal. It is. It's historical. Absolutely, Nathan. But penetration. Unless that shit smells like sanitation. Boom.